What's up, everybody? So getting into this episode of The Young and the Restless, I want to start with the beginning. We had Kyle and Jack. They were swinging from the chandeliers. They all happy that Diane's out on bail, but Diane was worried about Summer's reaction. And then the little br- and then here comes the brat Summer. She's like, Diane, what are you doing here? And Di- they explained that Diane got out on bail. And Diane was trying to plead with her. She, she said, I would have never had taken your mother away from you. I'm not, I want you to know that I'm not responsible for this. And then Summer started talking about, you are responsible. When you came into town, you, to get Jack, you took over every bit of my mom's life. And now here, here you are. But it's not fair that you get to be with the people that you love while my family is all messed up. And then she was like, I'm not partaking in this congratulate in this celebra- celebration over here. I'm not doing it. And then Diane was trying to tell her, okay, I, I'm gonna I, I respect your feelings, but I'm going to, but I'm telling you I'm on house arrest right now, so there's not really much I could do to avoid seeing you, but I'll try as much as I possible. She's like, are you kidding me? So now I'm, stu- now I'm stuck with you. I don't get no break from you at all. I can't avoid you. And then and then she storms off when Daniel texts her, texts her. I'm like, Summer is a trip. She really is. She is a true trip. Like, first of all, Diane didn't destroy anything of Phyllis's. Phyllis did that all on her own. So if Jack didn't trust Phyllis like that, probably because of their his When Jack and Phyllis slowly found their way back to each other before Diane came back, Phyllis was already on thin ice with Jack because Jack would barely trust her. And then, so he, so Jack was the one that chose to leave Diane. I mean, no, leave Phyllis to go to Diane. So why won't you bring some of that smoke to Jack? Why? How come it's all on Diane? On Diane, like. And on top of that, Phyllis is a grown ass woman that got herself into this situation. She's the one that got involved with Jeremy Stark and was willing to let Diane take so much power over her life. And like I said, Phyllis is, Phyllis is to blame for her own problems. So she can miss me with that. Now, I don't trust Diane as far as I could throw her. I think Diane can't be trusted. But even though I don't really know her history too much or why fans and the people in that town hate her so much. What makes her so much worse than everybody else? I, I'm not seeing that yet. So I would appreciate if someone in my comment section could explain truly why they hate Diane so much. I would really love to know. Because um, every time you ask someone, you'd be like, oh, just Google the history. You did Google the history, but you still don't see her that, that she did so much worse than everybody else. So once again, like I said, if y'all have your own opinion, please leave that in the comment section below. I want to know what about Diane that is so horrible that makes her so much worse than everybody else. But Summer is dead wrong for what she's doing right now, going along with Phyllis's nonsense. And when Daniel call, called her over, he made that clear. He said, no, we're not, I'm not keeping Phyllis's little, our mother's, our mother Phyllis's secret no longer. So yeah, we're about to, we're about to, t- Tell people that Phyllis is alive and we're about to go find her and bring her back and end, and end all this nonsense. I'm not letting Diane go to, to jail for a crime she didn't commit. And somebody just had that little bratty look on his on her face. I really hope, I, I can't wait. I, I don't even like Kyle, but I sure hope he tells Summer to go kick rocks with no socks. Because she is totally trifling for what she's doing. And... There's just no excuse. Her her and Phyllis are just trifling. No excuse at all. Unbelievable. But moving on but moving on from that, we got the rest of this episode was basically all about Neil's memorial. For everyone who was grieving who was grieving him. We had Malcolm, we had um Devon's mother, Harmony there, we had Tucker. Lily, Nikki, Abby, they were all, it was a really nice, nice memorial. Oh yeah, and Nate, 
So, so Nate just had a little civilized conversation with Devon and Lily. They seemed okay, and Devon was really happy with Tucker for bringing Harmony to town. Um, Mariah was being nosy, and she wanted to know the history of why Ashley was giving Harmony the side eye. Apparently, Tucker was sleeping with Harmony while he during, during one of his marriages to Ashley, so Ashley was still kind of in her feelings about that. But I thought Ashley handled herself classy. She she um, approached her over there, and she wasn't too nasty or anything like that. So. Um, Harmony's just glad that her and Tucker found their way back to each other for now. Like, Ashley could do better than, Chuck, than Tucker as far as I'm concerned. I don't like Tucker. But, um, like I said, that was mostly Victor gave a nice little speech. And, like I said, and Lil Lily and them, they're all concerned about Daniel. That's why, but Daniel has a crisis of conscience. So that's why he approached Summer at the end of the episode like I had discussed just a few minutes ago. So, there was that. But, but like I said, but that was mostly everything in this episode. Like I said, I thought the the speeches about Neil was really good and I thought, I thought it was nice. Um, but let me know what y'all thought about this episode in the comment section below and I will see you all later. Peace.